Schnell mit den Eiscreme kommen, Pinata! to my channel so craftastic as you already know we're making a giant ice cream cone pinata it's huge so if you or someone that you know has a summer party coming up then this might be the perfect thing to make We'll get to that shortly, but first I want to introduce you to some of my amazing YouTube friends. You might know them, but we are doing a big collaboration today. We got each other's backs, so we want our friends to be your friends and their friends and everyone's friends and all our eyes to see the videos. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't either. But if you're interested in seeing some other awesome videos after you've watched mine, then go ahead and check out these. We have Sophia Styled, Timmy Tomato, Alejandro Valdez, Breland from Glitter Forever 17, Haley Williams, Jacob Krugshank, and Chrissy from Glamour Life Fox. They all make the most amazing videos and they're always so entertaining, so I'll put all their video and channel links in the description box below so you can go check those out. Pretty please subscribe to all of us. If your eyes are new to seeing my face, use your finger to click the red subscribe button. And also please use your thumb to give the video a thumbs up, but actually don't use your thumb unless you're clicking the mouse with it. Now it's ice cream time. Start by blowing up a balloon to the size you want the scoop of your piñata to be. Now gather some newspapers and tear those into strips that are about one and a half to three inches wide. The wider the strips, the less time it will take to paper mache with them later, so I actually wish I would have made a lot of these bigger, but they'll work either way. Once you have a bunch of newspaper pieces ripped, it's time to mix the paste. I'm using two cups of water, two cups of flour, and one tablespoon of table salt. Dump all those ingredients together in a large bowl and mix until you get rid of the clumps. Now that my mixture is smooth, I'm taking a strip of newspaper, dipping it into the flour glue, sliding off the excess with my fingers, and then placing that onto the inflated balloon. Repeat this for the second piece of paper, and the third, and a whole bunch more. Be sure to overlap the pieces a bit so no balloon is showing through. If there's ever a paste buildup on the already stuck on paper strips, you can use a fresh one to wipe some of that away because you don't want it to glop up on there. You want the paper mache to be smooth when it dries. Keep going and going like the Energizer Bunny until the entire surface of the balloon is covered, minus that little bit at the top where it's tied. For me, each layer used up about one cup of flour and one cup of water. So this batch allowed me to finish two layers of paper with a little bit of goop to spare. To help speed along the drying process, you can take the project outside to dry. It was a really warm day, so it really made it dry a lot quicker. Hey! What are you doing? Another way to decrease drying time is by using a blow dryer. Just be sure you don't blow all your pieces away, which I almost did. At this point, I had four layers total, which I completed over the course of two or three different days. It's best to let each layer dry before moving on to the next one. After all four layers of mine dried, I popped the balloon and removed it from inside like so. Here I'm using tissue paper to cover all of that boring looking newspaper. This step will add strength by creating another layer of paper, plus it'll prevent any of the newspaper prints from showing through later. For this step I used plain white Elmer's glue to attach the sheets of paper. And by the way, if you don't want to make the flour mixture, you can also use Mod Podge or glue to do all the paper macheing quote unquote. It's up to you. Set that aside to dry and use a sheet of poster board to form a cone shape. 
I used duct tape to secure the seams of the cone on both the inside and outside. Then I unfolded a brown paper bag from a local grocery store and used that to wrap the cone. This bag and all the newspapers I used were completely free, so making your own piñata is quite affordable. This roll of craft paper, however, cost me a few dollars. But you could just add another layer of paper bag instead if you want to save money or just like the look of that better. Either way, while that dries, grab a large roll of crepe paper streamer that matches the color of the tissue paper you used earlier and cut it into really, really long strips, a few feet for sure. Fold the strips in half a few times, then use a pair of scissors to cut tiny slits all the way across. Be careful to only cut these slits about half to two thirds of the way up the height of the paper. Crazy multi-blade confetti cutting scissors are another option. Yes, they do exist. I purchased them from Michaels with a 40% off coupon. They make cutting go by pretty quickly. Place the cone on top and use a pencil to trace around it. This line is going to act as a guide for where you begin to glue on the strips of frilly paper. You'll want to attach each piece so that it wraps around the entire balloon like this. Then attach the next piece directly under the first and make sure they overlap just enough so you can't see the tissue paper peep through. And you probably guess that we're repeating this for the entire balloon, which you'll need to flip eventually so you can cover the top too. I ended up putting a couple of fringy circles on top to finish it off. After the glue dries, add candy and seal the hole. The reason I do this is because the paper mache half of this pinata is a lot stronger than the cone. So I don't want there to be a chance that the weight from the candy could possibly cause the cone to break off. Here I actually ended up ripping off those first two layers of frill because they were too close to attach the cone. I wanted the cone to attach directly to the paper mache and not the frills because then if it were to rip then the cone would come off more easily since those are not like part of the actual base if that makes sense. At first I was going to tape the cone on but that wasn't holding securely so I added globs and globs of glue for this step instead and that seemed to work a lot better. Finally, while that dries, cut at least a few dozen 6 inch-ish long strips of streamer and crumble those one at a time. I'm gluing these on to hide the top of the cone, but it also makes the ice cream scoop look cuter and more finished in my opinion. Keep layering those crumbled papers on top of one another until desired fullness is achieved. And of course, to actually use this pinata, you'll need to cut a couple holes on top and add some heavy-duty string, but I haven't done that part yet, so I don't have footage for it. Also, it might be cool to add lines to the cone to give it a bit more character and make it resemble a waffle cone. If you're still watching right now, one, you're amazing, and two, go tell me your favorite ice cream flavor in the comments section. I have a lot of favorites, but one of my top picks is definitely strawberry cheesecake. Yum. I'm just thinking about all the disappointed faces because I didn't hit the pinata and break it open. It's still right here. I will let you guys in on a secret. There's actually no candy in here right now because I knew that I was going to be using this for a little bit of video footage for my thumbnail image and it's already heavy enough and awkward enough clumsy. Also, I spent a long ass time making this and I didn't want to just break it open. I want to use this for something useful, like maybe a party in the future. I mean, I would use this at my party, honestly. I think it would be a lot of fun. I never had a piñata at any of my birthday parties. It would be a really cute room decor too, but I'm kind of worried that if I hang it up from the ceiling, First, that would look kind of weird, but secondly, I have a cat, and he would probably jump up there 
ninja cat warrior style and pull it down. As I mentioned at the beginning, please don't forget to check out all my friends' awesome videos. The links are all in the description box below. Also, I just posted a video on Friday. It was a DIY on how to make some cupcake shaped highlight or highlighter for your face. So if you haven't seen that, I'll put that in the i button up here and I'll also list it below. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Don't forget to check out all of my social media links below. I have Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Crafty Amino. I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye! My hair is overtaking my shirt. It's there, I swear. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. It almost doesn't fit in the frame. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs>